Um, I'm Robert Kirokoff. I am in New York City on hey. September the 20th for Quilter State Manhattan. Um, it was really hard to pick a quilt. I have 200 quilts and 100 quilt tops in the collection. So when they said bring a favorite, it, it's hard to do that. But this house quilt kind of came to mind right away. Um, it really is a bridge for me between the American Quilt, the History of Cloth and Comfort, which was done 21 years ago, and it appeared in there, and it also appears in Unconventional and Unexpected, American Quilts Below the Radar, 1950 to 2000. Um, this was the last quilt in the American Quilt from the section 1925 to 1950, which ended the book. Um, it's a house pattern quilt. It's number 7,015. By this time, by the late kind of the 50s, they're not calling it a name of the pattern. It's a Laura Wheeler, Alice Brooks pattern. Um, I love it because it's not precise. It's short and squat. You know, most of the house quilts are very precise. Um, this one is not. I love the short squatness of it. I love pattern. I love printed fabric, and you got a lot of printed fabric in this. Um, there's little heart prints in these pink and white. I love the stripes. This is flannel. Um, the things that I really love are this blue, solid blue frame. It's like a frame around a picture of this house, and then, of course, the mystery block. Why, why is there that one blue block? Um, that's all right. Um, it also has, how much time do I have? You have about one minute. There's a wonderful story. It came from a great collection, Charlotte Eckback, who's a Southern California collector. I borrowed a number of quilts in her collection, early quilts, and this was a later. I always loved this quilt. Charlotte um, unfortunately died of cancer in about 2003. Um, I was informed that the family was selling quilts, and so I said, I would love to buy this quilt. They said, it's available. I said, I'll take it. Then when I went to get it, they couldn't find it. It wasn't there. So this was right about the time I'm starting to gather this collection and start to look for quilts from the 1950s on. Um, and I found two wonderful other house quilts, um, but I was always kind of like thinking about this quilt and would love to have it. In 2012, the family was selling some more quilts at auction. One of the quilts had been in the American Quilt, and I was giving them some more information about it, and I said as an aside, did you ever find that house quilt? And three days later, I get a photograph in an email saying, is this the one you're looking for? And I said, yes. <laughs> so about seven or eight phone calls, emails, back and forth. By the end of the day, it was in a box, and it was came to San Francisco, and it's now in my collection. This is also, the, the, the designer of the new book did not know the story about the American quilt. This is the last quilt in the new book as well. So thank you very much.